King Charles stunned by Prince Harry's constant attacks, the royal family's desperate bid for justice. The British royal family has found itself in the midst of a high-stakes legal battle as King Charles III takes drastic action against his own son, Prince Harry, in a desperate attempt to protect the monarchy's reputation. The once unthinkable decision comes after years of relentless attacks and damaging revelations from the rebellious royal, leaving the crown with no choice but to seek legal recourse. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. The tensions between the House of Windsor and the self-exiled Duke of Sussex have been simmering for years, but the situation has now reached a boiling point. Prince Harry's memoirs, as well as his and his wife Meghan's bombshell interviews, have lifted the lid on the inner workings of the royal family, exposing a litany of alleged mistreatments, rivalries, and emotional turmoil. From accusations of racism to claims of neglect and manipulation, the Duke's crusade against the institution he once belonged to has left King Charles and the rest of the royals reeling. And now, with the constant stream of negative publicity and the perceived threat to the monarchy's stability, the king has decided to take drastic action, the royal family's legal offensive. In an unprecedented move, King Charles III has instructed his legal team to file a lawsuit against Prince Harry, citing breach of privacy, defamation, and violation of the non-disclosure agreements the Duke signed during his time as a working royal. The king has been left with no other choice, a senior palace source told reporters, speaking on the condition of anonymity. The constant attacks, the revelations, the damaging allegations. It's all taking a toll on the institution, and His Majesty feels he has a responsibility to protect the crown and its legacy. The source went on to explain that the legal action is not simply about silencing Prince Harry, but about upholding the principles of the monarchy and ensuring the public's faith in the royal family remains intact. It's not just about personal grievances, it's about preserving the integrity of the institution. The king and the rest of the family feel that enough is enough, and they need to take a stand. A high-stakes battle, the impending legal battle promises to be a high-stakes affair, with both sides poised to fight fiercely for their position. Prince Harry, who has already demonstrated his willingness to challenge the establishment, is expected to mount a robust defense, potentially escalating the conflict even further. Harry has made it clear that he is not afraid to take on the institution, said royal commentator Tristan Hazelwood. He's shown time and time again that he is willing to go to great lengths to air his grievances and hold the royals accountable. This lawsuit is likely to be another chapter in an ongoing war of wills. The stakes are equally high for the monarchy. A loss in court could further erode public trust and potentially embolden other disgruntled royals to follow in Prince Harry's footsteps. The royal family's legal team, led by some of the UK's top lawyers, is under immense pressure to secure a decisive victory. A divided public and a tarnished legacy, the ongoing feud between Prince Harry and the royal family has already divided public opinion, with supporters on both sides passionately defending their respective positions. The lawsuit is likely to further inflame these tensions as the public follows the high-profile legal battle with bated breath. This is a lose-lose situation for everyone involved said royal historian Dr. Penelope Woodhall. Regardless of the outcome, the monarchy's reputation is going to suffer. The public is already fatigued by the constant drama, and this lawsuit is only going to exacerbate the sense of discord and dysfunction within the House of Windsor. Indeed, the lasting impact of the royal family's ongoing conflict with Prince Harry could be a tarnished legacy, one that future generations of Britons may struggle to reconcile with the once revered institution. Monarchy has always been a symbol of stability and tradition, but this crisis threatens to undermine those very foundations, Dr. Woodhall continued. The royal family needs to find a way to heal these wounds and restore the public's faith, or they risk becoming just another dysfunctional family drama playing out on the global stage. As the legal battle looms, the fate of the House of Windsor hangs in the balance, with the world watching anxiously to see how the drama will unfold. The future of the British monarchy may very well depend on the outcome of this high-stakes showdown between a king and his rebellious son.